Greetings and salutations and welcome to another video. In today's video we're going back to education and we're going to be looking more at the Ambassador Hub. I'm going to be doing a little tour of all the education bits and bobs that Autodesk offers so students, educators can make the most of them. And here we are at the Autodesk Ambassador Hub. This is very recent, well within the last six months and it's pretty cool if you can just get get over some of the little little flaws that are being polished out over the time. This is very new, it's also I think one of the newest modes that Influitive offer because it's been hosted by Influitive. Okay, so let's get started. So when you log in, you get to the home screen and the home screen is so you get a little, for little forum here where students, educators can discuss. You then have the little challenges and there's also the challenge bar up here. And so you got some challenges which are shared on social media, so share massive projects either people to do with Autodesk have been doing. There's also uh, repping the hub, trying to get more people to join. I think we have, today I think we got from Bjorn, we had about, we have about 3,400 members currently active, which is pretty, pretty good. And also there are also challenges so you can put down anything to do with Autodesk, so any certifications, anything you do like internships, universities, expert elite, they can all be done. And then what then happens is is then those points you get from the challenge can then be spent on rewards at the moment. The rewards are being built up. There's currently just the gold icon, which is replacing the student expert and student ambassador icon. And so you now get a new icon for every time you level up. Levels occur with every time you get badges. So you get badges at bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Bronze are the easiest, di diamonds are the hardest. There's a couple of non leveled ones, which are just like one off saying, Oh, you've attached your Facebook account, etc., etc. I've gone to my account. Here's what you kind of see. So you see, you've got the gold badges. So you have got your 5K, your social one, and they're kind of all there's a variety. So you can see these are the gold ones. They're the silver. They're the bronze. This is just like a standard green one, just just from a challenge. And these are the country badges. Now, one of the first things you really need to do, and I can't stress this enough, is please put your role in which software you use. And which country you're from it's really useful in helping organize the forum to make sure everyone gets the right challenges because obviously how it works is is that using the data from the challenges means you get certain challenges so if you use inventor fusion let's just say those two you'll then get given invent and fusion based challenges for you to compete there's no point you being given revit challenges because you either won't be able to do them or you just can be very limited Whereas if you get given the right ones, there's also going to be ones for specifically for students. There'll also be ones. Um, oh yes, the ones for students. Uh, Find your tribe was a little channel that I don't have up because I've done all the challenges in it. When you do the challenges, they disappear. But Find your tribe was the one for students and people to get involved with Fusion 360, which is really good. But they're aimed to put more challenges out targeting at separate groups. I know there's also been some German challenges. So if you're from Germany. You've got and you have the German badge, so you get some Ger uh, German challenges. I think there's also some challenges going out to India, which overall means it's very targeted and customized to you rather than just having a plethora of challenges that you just can't do and sit there. So, yeah, that's it kind of briefly so far. So, if you go into the actual categories, we have loads of categories. So, from just general stuff to feedback, software, we've also got Fusion 360 because that's big here. We also have some Jerry design. We also have quite a lot of Revitas, so Revit's popped up quite a bit. And I think, and also, try to think, look around. Leaderboards, we also have a leaderboard. It's very comp very competitive at the top end, very, very close up. And if, but if you're not that competitive, you can always remove yourself from the leaderboard. Doopy doopy doo. So yeah, obviously you've got different channel channels. So you've got Make a Splash, so you've got the Sherry ones. Uh, make it shine which is like your skills so you can put free certifications there's there'll also be some challenges where you sign up just to get you started and get some points flowing but if you go into the if you go to the completed tab you can see that I have done way too many challenges although I've been on here for since September but you can also set your challenges to either be waiting which means that either waiting for somebody like um, Autodesk to verify them or they're on later because you can't do them that's not applicable to you like world skills there hasn't been a world skills that i've been to near me yet so maybe in the future i get to go but also if you've gone to completed you can then filter them all through depending on category and the category challenges 
then le then lead you to get category badges like let's find the feedback ones the education ones there's also some contenty ones which are pretty cool which then I think last but not least leads me on to if you want to progress down to rank and this is the kind of cool part so when you start you just get a starter there's no right there's nothing special about it but you within a couple of hours you can get yourself a bronze with a few more hours you can get silver gold is quite a step there's only four gold people on the hub at the moment I, I myself being in the gold pack and nobody's at platinum yet and diamond but you can see some of these 20k I'm all, I'm less than a third through that so they're quite substantial milestones but each time you level up you get a voucher for a ACU or an ACP of your choice currently the product ones but that'll be changing over time and obviously as we as the hub develops we'll hopefully be getting more stuff like uh, merch with your level on it and other kind of custom stuff maybe some hoodies surveys have been going out people have been asking rewards are coming in progress and the hub is overall building so whilst there's a couple of bugs a couple of things and there's lots to be done learning should be happening videos i might be doing some streams so everyone's kind of really active so if you're in the education community definitely check this out if you're not first you don't have to but otherwise thank you for listening i'll see you in the next video goodbye